Rag T, we are live here. Ryan's and Millis shoot down at the Millis Corral. Number one, number two averages in the Class C Southern Conference. On the left, with the number one average, Mr. Brandon Fendo Martins. On the right, number two average, Mr. Pete Janton Jr. Bowling out of spare time in uh, Northbridge, Massachusetts. It's going to be a hell of a match. Pins will be flying. It's going to be rocking. Micah Imperato on the streaming, and he'll be on mic at points. Yeah, Pete Janton Jr. has a 114-54 and 54 record. He is first in Division I. He has a 110.9 average coming out of spare time lanes oh, in Northbridge. I'm a and jerk. he's second in the Class C. And he'll be bowling the number one bowler, Mr. Uh, Michael Fabrizio Smith, tomorrow at Northbridge. First ball, a little off. Take out the 248 in the chop zone. Okay, just misses, leaving a 1710. Okay, I'm watching on Atlantic Can Singles Tour Facebook. The match has just come up. I'm gonna. Brian Surprise is on here. Says, uh, kick his butt, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Surprise. One of the uh, C South competitors. Uh, Pete, a little off to the right there. Leaving now four horsemen. One, two, four, seven. No wood. Pete's recent matches: ten and four against Michael Smith, twelve and two at Ashley Britton, eight and six versus Nate Wheeler, and a four and ten versus Wayne Bullock. PJ going for a ten box. Right on the head pin. Okay. There we go. Seventeenth for two. When uh, Brandon Fendo Martins gets up uh, at two, four, five, seven, nine, and ten, I'll give you the deficits or leads in the match. The good news, Drew, is they can see it the whole time. Oh yes, they can. But uh, <laughs> I don't want to get out of the habit of it for when I'm streaming when there's Absolutely, no live. Uh, Absolutely, boss. So we love no about live. You. No live scoreboard. All right, bad break there. Five, seven, nine, ten. Wood between I, the five, seven. I do like that wood. Yeah, I do, but he's going to make it perfect shot. Oh, he gets oh. it. Got to love those middle sidewalls. Pete Jenton, five, seven, nine, ten. I'd like to say hello to Mr. Uh, Don Devish and Mike Capone, who I did their match Thursday night at Mohegan. Bowl. Pete with five on the spare. Anybody else with comments? Feel free. We only have ten viewers so far. Come on, man. <laughs> These are the top two averages in the Class C South. Come on. No, Class C period. Top two. They tried to run the Cleary. Yeah, he did. He did. Just slight chop. Set the four off the sidewall there. Looking for a nine or a ten. And he Take gets a nine. nine box. 41 through four. One big one here. Definitely want to get a spare, put a little bit of pressure on uh, Fendo here. He's uh, second high average, Class C. Fifth high single with a 153. And the second high series with a 635, which I called last time against Michael Smith. Okay, He's going to finish his first half just on the head pin, one out of five. Yes. Oh, Ooh. going for the post and just missed it to the left. Needs his 10 box. Right on it. Yeah, Brian says he appreciates me calling out the, uh, the pins and the shots because he can't watch it. He just listens sometimes because he's at work. Which I 
think is cool. You know, I, I, I know a lot of people have small phones, too, so that's why I try to call it out. All right, Brandon Fendo Martins, the number one that. average, 112.77 with a record of 58-26. He's been out for a while, had a broken ankle, doing three matches today. <laughs> three. We need uh, – are you going to be streaming all three, Micah? No. I'm probably going to run after the first one. I'm here to do a tech test with that face yeah. cam. So, yeah, he's going to need a streamer and or announcer for two more matches. Ooh. So uh, feel free to come through. I'm sure the bowlers will love to, to have it. So if anybody's available for 2 or 4 o'clock. Sean McKaylee says, let's go Fendo. Ooh, rough start, <clears throat> five bucks. What's up? Okay, Fendo. Won a doubles tournament this fall before his injury at an Agawam. His last four matches, 14-0 versus Ryan Prius. 10-4 versus Danny Finn. 4-10 at Nate Wheeler. But he was 10-4 at Michael Fabrizio Smith, the number one seed <laughs> in the conference. Man, he manages to kick the, uh, the corner through the rack. It's doing helicopters on the plate and finally trips the two pins. Yep. So he's looking at one, the one, three, three four, four, five, five seven. seven. Nice wood between the one, three. He you don't it. have to hit it right. Yeah. Yeah, it was wired. I don't even think he made contact with the head pin, but no, it didn't. was wired in there. Okay, 15 okay. in a ball for Fendo. Mm. Also, some bio stuff. He has the highest average in Class C. Seventh high single, 145. Fifth high series. With oh, that's the way to fill it. Stop. Hammer time. Brandon Fendo Martins unloads 35 and two balls. Up three and the two ball, Phil. For those of you new to, to the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour, five games right now. They all count two points, and total counts for four, 14 points. Oh, Brandon in the chop zone. Ugh. <laughs> Leaving a washout. One, two, four, six, ten. But he's got one more ball to count on the strike. Okay, Fendo. Oh, he I chops it. God, six. that hurts. Double chop box. You know how I hate those, Micah. All righty. Needs the out. And gets two. Okay. 49 fourth. He's up eight. You want to go in front? I'm all above if you want to go up front. Not at all. Just watch out for Deuce. Leg cable. Up to 15 viewers. All right. Come on, peeps. Got to get some more people on here. High noon Saturday. Brandon up the head pin. Good mix. Leaving a 1 3 6. No wood. Big spare opportunity here. Brandon's home lanes for ACST is right here. Ryan Smells, beautiful shot on the outside. Brandon Martin's 59 and a ball. He'll be up eight in the ball. Chant Jr. is out of spare time lanes in Northbridge. And he's second overall in the conference, as well as leading his division. Devastating so far this year. Mixing. And, oh, man, it's leading a 7-10. Did not want that 9 to go down. The wood was nice near it, but this is going to be difficult. Two flat planks. Oh, he timed me out. He's oh, he's lead. gonna get it! Oh, nice bid there for Pete. Yeah, we don't see in no Pete family on so far. Come on, man! You guys were all on last time. Okay, it'll be a nine box. Sixty for six for Pete. Also does a lot of streaming with uh, AJ Gagner. They do. Do a lot of bowling out there at spare time. Runs the king of the hill out there as well. Pete in the pocket. Goodbye. 
Open up your kaboom box, Pete Chan. Seventy in two balls. That's what he needed. Brandon out to a quick start with three marks and five. Rihanna Labsy says, "Let's go, Pete." And Brian Surprise says, "Good half, Endo." He says, "Thanks." Brian Surprise. Another good contender out of this sea south. Oh, a little off the head pin, but carries just like he did the, the night he did the 6 35. He's getting a lot of extra pins when he's off the head pin. One, three, and six. See if he can make it like uh, Fendo. Oh, he left it right and chopped through the three. Be an eight fill on his strike. 78 through 7. 88. <laughs> Sends the pin on the other lane. That was a classic. Dan Castle watching. Hello, Mr. Castle. Hope all is well with you, sir. Is he watching down the end of the lanes, or is he driving still? Oh, come on. Powerful pocket hit again. Nine drop. Can't really complain with that. Nine drop with lumber liquidators in front of the pin. Flat. Ah. Jaheem ran out of paper tails, it looks like. Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my wow. God. He somehow missed that. Oh, that's a bummer. Just hit very light on that deadwood. I guess it wasn't so automatic. Nine box for... Pete? I say it all the time. I just don't trust those candy cane pins. They're all aliens. Okay, uh, Commissioner Danny Finn was going to go down and get the pin, but Pete wants to finish finish this half. Probably a little heated after <laughs> that single. I don't blame him. There oh, we go. That was a slow mixer. Cement mixer, we call that. The middle of cement. When the pin's just like cement hitting the ground going... Pfft. Okay, 107 and two, he really needed that. Because Fendo's on a 59 and a ball half. Because if he would have opened it, it would have been real tough for him to win that game. Duncan McDougal's watching. So Duncan, did you get me uh, doing your antidotes? It was during the fourth game of the Devish versus uh, Capone. I did a Duncan imitation. Probably not as good as yours of me, but I tried. <laughs> and he oh, gets it. Go. <clears throat> Gotta love those middle sidewalls, huh, Pete? 117. Pete Jen. So Brandon is going to need 59, including his fill, to beat Pete for the game. That was Just big, those strikes the, bare. Uh, Fun watching the ball come off the wall for that one. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, typical Justin Waters finish. He usually marks in that 10th box, and it really helps. Oh, I need to reload that. Yeah, it's in the fourth game of the Castle versus Devish. Not Castle, Devish, uh, Capone. Ugh, got a little brain thing. All right, Stats Brandon coming up. We are right now 18 viewers. Great graphics, camera work, Mike Imperato as always. Fendo 7 8. Okay, gets a 6 10. Nice plank alongside. I think that'll help. 67 half. He's up 16. For the half. And he makes it. 77 in a ball. It, these are the two top average guys. On, fella. This is going to be a shootout. Fast lanes, high average bowlers. 
could take 600 to win this match. Even though you it's know how these lanes match. go, though, Drew. What starts out fast ends up splits. Yeah, that could happen, but this house, not as much. It's like Mohegan the other night if you watch that match. Okay, seven on the spare off the head pin. Good break. One, three, six, which he made in the fifth. Buries it. Three in a row for Fendo. Fendo, though, when he bowls is in Western Mass, bowls out of uh, Agawam Bowl. Uh, 94. Very decorated in tournament wins during the summer and spring, last summer as well. Okay, on the nose, gets six though. Two, four, six, seven. 100 through seven, up 22. Fendo was given a challenge by Peach and uh, really ro rising up so far. Just off there. Still has the same four. Yeah, up to 22 viewers now. Now, I love it. Okay, seven box there. 107 through eight. Up right now, 19 pins in the match. And Doe, just a little off. Leave it all. One, three, four, seven, nine. Kind of in the chop zone on that. Leave a little washout, I believe. And he oh, makes it. Oh, he gets it. a kick from behind. Beautiful execution there. One, 17 in a ball. Looking to add to a lead here to start this match. In the pocket, broke the split up, leaving a 3 6 10. 1 24 in the ninth for Brandon. He takes game one. It's just going to be a matter of how many pins. Right in there with a spare. Don't be sad, cause five out of six ain't bad. Well finished for Brandon. 134 and a ball right now. Great start. Boy, his other two opponents today, Mark Hanigan and Wayne Bullock. Better look out. <laughs> Here comes Fendo. It's six, more. maybe seven. It's a six, buck 40. Great first game, 23 pin lead in the match. 2-0 right now for Martins. But Pete Jan's explosive. Did 635 on these two lanes a couple weeks ago. It's Michael Smith. He has those capabilities. Can't wait to watch the replay of this at home with the beautiful graphics and everything, man. It's, it's, it's fun. I got the headset mic this time, similar to the Bob Lee headset mic. Sounds great. Pete in the pocket, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I was about to say he would have been robbed if that was a split. Going for the six pin. I was going to say, you almost come for that wood, but he hit it. Oh! oh. Almost did the Johnny Blaze off the curtain for this bear. But he was a bit off on that uh, single pin attempt. And nine box, okay. Just got to get it centered. It's amazing how that little bit of wood there can make you just rethink how you want to throw your ball. Yeah, personally, I just would kind of go for it. Only if the wood was out front in the cap, that would affect me more. But yeah, it, it catches your eye a certain way sometimes. Pete, nine box. Nine box, Pete. 
I got it here. And I have a 40 box and a 4 from when I put my headset down. So let's clear that out. <laughs> there you go. Oh, the chop zone. Chop suey. Cold and stale. Takes out the 369. And oh my. Yeah, he made it. There you go. He deserved it. Beautiful spare there. Yeah, it was nine. It was nine. I tried to let you know, but you. Yeah. I got your real ones here. There we go. It's all set now. 19 in the ball for Pete. Once again, I can make just when I see something. The bowlers are the sole arbiters when it comes to scoring. If I see something that they may have missed, I'll, I'll direct them to it. But they had the final decision. That'll be $5, Canopins for Cancer. Uh, gets the lemon drop there, unfortunately, for a spare fell. Going for another multi, huge multi pinner. Oh, got seven on nine, leaving the 610. Just wanted to get that 10 box and regroup. Yeah, Sean. Yeah, Fendo really blowing well. Pete, not far off. Not far off. I can see a 40 the way he's throwing it right now. He's been getting some splits on the head pin and stuff. 29 for three. Thank you for watching, Sean Haley. In the pocket, 789er. And wood moving. Get out of there. Uh, that could be a little tricky. Get out. It's Stay gonna get out. It looks like. You'll have a clean yep. shot. Clean shots. All you want, really. It's gonna extend the zone for him. Yep. And he yep. makes it right on the nose. Thirty-nine a ball for Pete Jenton Jr. This is the big showdown in the sea. And they're going to have another one tomorrow. I don't know if he has a streamer yet for that one, but he will be bowling Michael Frizio Smith tomorrow. Details to come at spare time in Northbridge. In the nose, six on the fill. Uh, two, four, six, ten. The aces and eights. P going for it. He gets oh, it. What a shot. Cover. Pete Jan, right on the money. Beautiful shot there. Boy, that is a lot harder than it looks. What time's your match tomorrow, Pete? You got somebody streaming, or do you need a streamer? He's going to stream it himself uh, 3 p.m. tomorrow on Atlanta Canopy Singles Tour Facebook. Okay. That gives a little message to Fendo. The battle is joined. 55 and a mark half. Fendo's got a keep the pedal to the metal. Fendo in the pocket, and he does so, but bad break, 9-10. ran away on him. Welcome to Mohegan Bowl, right, Mike McCone? <laughs> Poor Mike Capone the other night, man. Goodness gracious. All right, nice bid. Okay, going for a 10. I'm looking forward to my showdown with Mike Capone. It's his last he, match before we go back to our divisions. Yeah, he's great bowler when he's on. And usually, you know, just had a very rough night in uh, Mohegan. But Fendo right now, his last four matches, 14-0, and 0, Ryan Prius, 10-4 and 4 against Danny Finn, 4-10 and 10 at Nate Wheeler, and a 10-4 and 4 at Michael Fabrizio Smith out in the Cape somewhere where he lives. I think Yarmouth maybe. Okay, um, one three ten. Very make and spare. He's made a one three six twice. That's that must rocket. suit his eye. Those type of rail shots. One three ten. One three six. Because he really does good on those. Twenty and a ball for Fendo. He's tied, but he's got a fill ball. Out to a great start. Like I said, man was coming off a broken ankle. Or foot was out for a long period of time. That's why I screwed triple header today. Oh man, bad break. 
three, six, t seven, ten off the deck. Four fill on the spare. But that's three better than uh, Pete's fill. <laughs> yeah, both bowlers struggling with the fills this drink. Yes. Here he comes. Uh, just, uh, oh, wow. This is the flux capacitor with a friend here. Uh, oh, all you got to do is to throw the spread eagle. Yeah. Other people call this the snow plow, too. That's two different names. And he gets two. Okay, eight box for Fendo. 32 to three. He's up three. 32 29 over Pete. Two boxes to go. Facing two marks. Uh, anybody with any questions or anything? We're here live here right now on the ACSD Facebook. I'm here to answer the questions. And so is Micah. If you got any technical questions for him or bowling questions, all he is is high series, high single, high average of Class B. You know, he's got some capabilities to say the least. Uh, even a blind squirrel finds a nut. Oh, yes. One, two, six, ten. I oh, what saw. a shot. Says, PJ, I got your aces and eights right here, baby. Beautiful conversion on the washout for Fendo. Down three, but he's got a fill ball. Opposite a six fill. Both bowlers pulling great. They'll be moving up to B next year at the minimum. Five, six, seven, eight. Who do we appreciate? 54, Fendo up five. Opportunity here. Micah, the uh, wood, the wood, the cap near the six. You think that's going to get in the way? It might. I mean, you're going to deflect, hopefully, into it. Yep. And he does. What you expected. Yeah. I thought if he maybe played on the outside, but he played it perfect on the inside. Beautiful shot for Fendo. Two marks in a row for Pete. He answers it. Up five right now. Both bowlers to fill balls. What we expected. Two high average bowlers showing their stuff right now in the C class. B class bowlers, you better be worried about these two coming next year at you. Okay, oh, P gets a break off the head pin. Leaves a 7 9. Some flat planks. Double wood should be helpful. Micah? It looks like it. I nine. mean, if he hits this guy, I would. Aim to the right of the line on the wood on the right. Yes. Oh, he, he got just it right hit on it, it. Right off the stripe. Didn't go. But uh, going for a 10 box. Nice 10 box. Okay, 73 through 6 for Pete. Ooh. Once again, Pete Jenton Jr., his last four matches 10 and 4 at Mike Smith. 12 and 2 at Ashley Britton. 8 and 6 versus Nate Wheeler. But a 4 and 10 against Wayne Bullock. Who uh, Fendo faces at 4 o'clock today. Ooh, Breeze coming from the outside. We're on lanes 21 and 22 here in Millis. Does that the make The 227 you lanes Breeze? for PDP Crawford. House record. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Needs to get the 10 bucks. He's got to find that rhythm because. Fendo's hot right now. Okay, eight box. 81 through seven. Three big boxes to add to it. It's interesting watching his release as he drifts from right to left and then counters it the way that he releases his ball. So he's targeting the one-two pocket. But if he comes across, he's got that spin, so it mixes like crazy. Yeah. Has a little bit of a right to left spin hook, leaving a 7 8 this time. Wood. Think maybe the outside of oh, no, the wood fine. near the 8. Up high. Just watching the wind. Oh. But he gets it. Hit low and it went off the wall. He's laughing. That's not what he intended. That's one of the great things these one on one matches you get to see. The bowlers and the reactions and stuff. 91 in a ball, though. Four splits this game for Pete. Uh, it makes it hard. In the pocket That's again. The pocket Nine. Okay, 100 through eight. Big opportunity here with a single. Bowler side corner. Uh, it's 
more difficult for a righty, though, I think, the, the 10 pin. And it shows. Uh, went in the gutter. 109 for 9. It's just tough. Those are always tough. I like to go a little bit more cross alley at it because uh, I started bowling as a 10 pin bowler, so that's how I learned to go at corners by doing yep. a lot of cross alley shots. Pete in the pocket again. Seven, eight, beautiful ball. Pete's starting to find it now, and he's getting good results. Honestly, that's the fun of the difference between the technical bowling of 10-pin and the field bowling of Candlepin. Oh, he just pulled it. With the razor blade this game, fans, if you watch it, those are the, some of the margins you're dealing with that make these spares. Dave Peterson watching. There it is. 119, PJ. He's been right over his average. But Fendo's been hot as a pistol right now, you know. So for those of you that are watching, as you can see the magic box down the bottom, as we get a little delay here thanks to the three pin. Um, Red is leading by 59 through the end of the string, 36 in the match. So as soon as Brandon's fills and everything else come into play, he'll need a total of 37 to get back into the lead in the match and 60 pins to take the string. Yes, indeed. And fans also, for those of you just listening, box seven, nine, and ten, I'll give you the deficits and or leads in the match. Fendo just off, but mixing like crazy. Seven, eight, did not hit the head pin, but he left the eight, ten split. Both Flat. bowlers starting out the second half with a split having not hit the head pin directly. Yeah, same thing for PJ. Let's see what Brandon can do with it. Oh, he played the wood, not the front wood, but the side wood, and I thought he had it, but it kicked over and just did not take the 10 pin. All right. 78 through seven for Brandon. Has the highest average in the ACSDC, 112.277. Seventh highest single, 145. Fifth highest series with 598. And his seventh and perfect box percentage at 46%. In the pocket. Wow. wow. How did that seven pin stay up? Beautiful pocket hit for Brandon Martins. I don't like candy cane pins. I know, but uh, other people <laughs> may not phase it all. And it didn't phase him. Maybe the, the candy pin helped there because he hit it so light. A little extra tape on there helped. Nah, they never help, man. All right. Remember, Micah hates the candy cane pins. What Absolutely. about uh, painted pins? Oh, I don't like those either. The ones with the plastic covers on them? No. Or just painted orange or purple or something? For oh, my oh. goodness. Rick Santucci special on that, taking the two off the deck. They each get a one on the spare, but uh, oh, that was a terrible break. Ironically enough. Yeah, that. Dave, the two highest averages and the number two and the number three seeds. As, as Great bid. Oh, come go. on. He deserved that. That was a beautiful bid. Crushed the pocket. As awful as the one fill is, he can tie the game without a mark. But he's going to need this pin. Yes. Uh-oh. Oh, oh just now he needs All right, a mark. He's going to need a mark now, but just 22 pins in the last two. Yep, and uh, 3 o'clock tomorrow, Pete is going to be playing the number one guy, Michael Fabrizio Smith, but Brandon's already defeated him 10-4, to 4, so that's a big notch in his uh, Ouch. application, as it were. He just went in the nose. Got some bad breaks right now, but uh, just one mark away from winning this game. Brandon. Oh, what a bid. Takes out the 2, 4, 7, 10. Got the 3, 6 left for a 10 box. And a 10 box on a spread eagle is like a mark. It really gives you momentum. And he gets it. 
Okay. Plain and simple. Uh, 11 to tie, 12 to win the game. Everything we would have expected so far from these two bowlers. Brandon, just off the pocket, mixing. One, two, eight, ten. There's some wood on the deck. The wood Oops. just where the two pin is, I don't know how helpful that's going to be, but it could go up the sidewall. Oh, he just ticked it. Okay. Game two goes to Peach in. Rough breaks for Brandon down the stretch here at the end. Very bad breaks. BA 10 Clean bucks. It up with a 10. 119 to 118 in favor of Pete. Two points each, but Brandon is up 22 for total. We have 28 viewers right now. 28. Game three out of five. Pete Jan Jr. up on lane. 22. Pocket hit. Nine drop. Leaving the five pin. No wood. Uh, Micah, why don't we uh, give the fans some of the, the head pin percentages for the two boulders right now because they're really on the head pin. Certainly. So with PJ picking up that one there, he is looking at 12 out of 21. Brandon, unfortunately, only at 7 out of 20. Yeah. Um, seems like my headset volume went down a little bit. All righty. Don't worry about that. It's all right. I know it's coming out, but it was weird. It was coming out. There we go. Okay, 10 bucks for Pete. Oh, just off. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. In Worcester, we would call that a ray ball, <laughs> which is <laughs> That's a about as good as you're going to get without yeah. hitting the head pin. Yeah. But that cap sticking out could be dastardly if he hits it the wrong way. But it could help him. And he just goes and gets it right in the face. 20 in a ball for Pete. Taking advantage of your breaks. Big part of Cannabin Long. Yeah, that quarter Worcester was a horrific break for, for Fendo there. But uh, we'll see. I'm sure he'll be able to overcome that and come out guns a blazing this next half. Ultimately, both bowlers struggled with a one fill. Yes. Seven, eight. Okay. Five, eight. Wood alongside. Back that up, huh? could be helpful. As long as he doesn't hit the cap. Right in there. 38 in the ball for Pete. Pete's got to be near clinching a playoff berth. He's bowled 12 matches so far. He's got to be near it. A well, the way, unfortunately, that we track that is we eliminate people. Oh, Ooh. how was that not a strike? Pin comes off the wall and kicks just left of nine. We eliminate people, but I don't think I actually do clinching when it comes to the wild card for sure. All By right. the way, it's a candy cane pin. Yes. That's why it didn't strike. Okay. Okay, two pieces of wood. He's going to probably go at the right of the two. He went left. All right, it works. He's a uh, much better bowler than me. He probably knows better. 57 and a ball, three in a row. Where's his lead of lanes? Bonus money, people. You can see that the, uh, Brian Fournier coming the back piece of wood managed to go ahead and clip the nine pin for him. Yep. Pete on that pin again. Nose dive. Leaves the spread eagle. The former name of the Canapin Bowling Network was it used to be Spread Eagle Productions back in the day. 61 through for four. Big, big half for Pete Jan Jr. Go for the spare. Just hit too light. 
too heavy, too light. Like I said, with a razor blade in this game, if you're on it, you're, you're doing great. If you're off it, you could do a 92 game. Seven box, 68 half, Pete Chanton Jr. Bofendo's been right around 60, 70 halves on uh, his first half here in late 22. Late 22. Blah, blah, I got tongue tied. It happens. Yeah, I mean, last summer, Brandon was third in triples with uh, King, not King of the Hill, outrun the bear with uh, Brittany Underwood and Mr. Tim Douglas. Then he was sixth in the handicap singles, uh, second in the, the Agawam Candle Paper Cancer doubles, lost to uh, Jason Gothier Jr., a.k.a. J.B. Gothier. Okay. Back to action. Fendo very decorated in the last year or so. One, seven, and nine. Eight box. Okay. Back at it. Four more boxes to go. Lucky he's, he's young dude doing 15 games in a day. Triple header. Seven, eight, nine. Almost a strike. God. A lot of these nine drops these guys are getting. And I'm surprised they haven't been strikes. But there we go. Fendo going for the six spin. Sweeps it over, goes get it. 18 in the ball for Brandon. Wow, we're down to 10 viewers here. It is a nice day out, but uh, up to 17. All right. That spare got him excited again. Got him woke up. Here we go. Brandon in the pocket, six, seven. Oh my goodness, four, five, seven. No wood. Known here, Miller says the castle. Dan tends to get that quite a bit, according to him. Anyway. Oh, I didn't even see any way he could make that, and he almost did. Took That's the fun the, of the uh, setback. It's one of those where. Uh, you know there's no simple way to shoot it, so you kind of throw anything you can at it. Yeah, five and a seven. We just missed four. Okay, 34-3 for Brandon. Okay, box four and five. I'll give you the match leads or deficit. Yeah, two he's two definitely going to want to light one up here. Yep. Brandon was up 22 through two games complete. Two points each for the bowlers. Fendo mixing. All right, washout. One, two, and ten. No wood, but I think he made one of these earlier. He's very good on these type of shots. Yeah, Rail both bowlers shots. have had pretty good luck shooting stuff like this. Yes. Not that one. Yes. Maybe after this game, Michael, if we could give a head pin percentage, like verbally, that way sure. the people that aren't watching and are listening can get it because these both bowlers have really been on the head pin. There, there we go. It nice is. 10 box. Okay, Brandon right now trailing by 17, but he's opposite and open. No, no, that's just a 10 box. Yeah, I said 10 box. No, 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 no. I'm saying <laughs> I heard someone mention somebody else's name. All righty then. Um, okay. He's down 17 in the game, but he's opposite a seven box. Big ball here. Missing. Just short. Leave it a one, two, four. He's been great on these rail shots. So let's see if he can execute another one. Yeah, it is good to be young, Sean. I uh, wish I, I still had that. One, Come two. Oh, loving them middle sidewalls. Oh, Brandon Martin with stat a big time. spare there. 14 down, but he's got that bonus ball. P. Chanton Jr., boy. It's going to probably take a 600 to uh, win this match. Both bowlers are on fire right now. They're on that pace. Uh, P.J. That right pace. now at 304, Brandon at 312 plus at the halfway point. 
Yes. Pete. Oh, half Worcester, but he's not on a mark, so it doesn't quite hurt as bad. Let's see if this goes. He almost made it last time. Beautiful spare when it goes. And oh, that's it got goes. It. Making me look like a genius right there. Peach and Jr. Little premonition, I guess. Man throwing a good ball. Both men are throwing good, pretty good ball. Okay. Live and loud here at Millis. Oh, he gets another one. Yeah, this time it is on a spare bill. Yeah, right? Well, unfortunately. 80 through 6 for P. Yep. Fendo's over here, melting in the heat here in Millis. Oh, yank me, crank me, but he's still got five out of it. Very fortunate there, leaving up a 1 2 5 because he put it right on the 6 10. And a 10 box. Blows it up. Yes, 90 through 7. Three big boxes here. We're more than halfway through. Five string match. Pete, right. Just off the pocket. Okay, that wood usually doesn't. With the two getting knocked out, that's not helpful, but the wood really is in a helpful spot. Yeah, he's got a second piece of wood back there that should help him with the corner if he hits us on the line. Yeah, one, four, seven. Right on it. Oh. oh, he just pulled it too far left. He needed wow. to be closer to the pin, I think. That's what I was saying, a little bit right of the red line, but uh, didn't go. But gets the 10 box. Takes it out on your, your hated uh I Triple hear you, Sean. Pin. I'll come down on a weekend. I will throw as many strings as I can in a row. I'll get to 10 or 15, and I'm over 50. It, it catches up with you. <laughs> okay, 100. Two boxes to go for Pete. Off the head pin again. Five, six, seven. Boy, his ball works. He's getting always an extra pin, too, off the head pin. This time he's got the one, two, seven. Caplewood sticking out near the two. There you Gets go. it. Would help them out. 110 and a ball for Pete. Brandon's on 54 and a ball half. Right around 37, 38 is Pete. Brandon's right around 40. That'll be what, five? Nope, it's six. Six, you took the pin on the back. Okay. Yep, one, three, six, eight. One Very of the few real spare. joys of having these pin cams is you really can see crystal clear. Yeah. For me, I got to look through the bowler, and oh, he yanked it just a little bit. I got a screen for you, Drew. <coughs> I'm okay. Look over at me, buddy. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, yes. <laughs> I feel weird kind of turning that way. I get you. All right, 125 is best game so far for Pete Jinton Jr. Okay, Fendo's going to need 72, including his fill, to take game three. He's up 22 in the match. It's only 12 viewers right now. All right. We thank you all for being here on the Atlantic Canopin Singles Tour Facebook. Will be so uploaded to YouTube later, right, Micah? Yep, and the TikTok girls are also streaming it as well. They are. Okay. That's an interesting way to get to the eight. He's done it a second time, a split yeah. without the head pin. Seven and eight. So send a shout out to Kate and Carrie Ann. It's my first time. Last year I did about like 12 different matches where they also yep. were streaming, which is great. I knew I was doing good if I made them laugh when I did something. When I had a certain tagline, I'd hear laughter. I'd be like, okay, I'm doing good. Okay, 71 through 6. Fendo down 6 for the half, 9 for the game right now. But three out of the next four balls, Micah, are open. It's a lot of opportunities. Still going to need 55 to take the straight. Yes, yes sir. Going to have to have nice fills on his marks. 
Fendo in the pocket. Goodbye. That's Set the, the way to get going Brandon in the right Barnes. direction. Beautiful. Beautiful one-two pocket hit. Also, last month, Micah, he, he was the number one qualifier for the King of the Hill, King of the Hill but uh, had a little bit of an off game. Did not make the finals. Go for a double! Leaving a 4-7. Big opportunity here to take the lead in the game. Wow. Oh, he got roadblocked. Twice the wood has gotten him in this half. Yeah, it's bad. I think maybe I would have played that a little further left, but, but that's probably what he's trying to do, just, you know, with a razor blade this game. It's, okay, three. You know, it is what it is. For Pete, yeah. You got to kind of put that ball behind you. You know, the wood is going to do what it wants to Charlie do. Charlie Collins is watching. How you doing, Charlie? I bet you he's doing uh, no. okay. Oh, yeah. He's, he does okay in this sport, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, 3-10. Got some interesting wood there to help guide it, but where he yeah. wants to hit the three, he's kind of blocked. He's got nice wood in there this time. There he it gets is. It. Okay, down nine. Okay. Um, hat. Oh, that's tricky. He's probably going to need another mark unless he gets a nine or a strike. Strike well, will win it. A good fill and a ten. Right? Uh, it's got to be eight or more for him to win or tie. That ball's going to stay outside. So, uh, well, four, it is Millis. Let's see what five. happens here. He's going to need. No, scoreboard actually kept it. Okay. So he's going to need another now. Yes, he will. One, two, three. Seven eight and a boatload of wood, nice wire in back of the yeah, triangle wired. there. Hit the one three. And oh, oh my wow. goodness! Too thin, too well, thin, and that's. But there was so me. much wood in there, I just didn't think it mattered as long as he hit it. Yep. Oh, Need to make the break. one hit the two though. Yeah. Just and he's going to nine his way out. Okay. All right, Drew. You told me you wanted some stats, so let's talk about this here. So pulling okay. up the stat between the match, obviously four points to two for Peter, 361 for Peter, 379 for Brandon, still holding on to the lead. 15 to 12, head pin advantage for Peter, seven to, spix, seven to six split for Brandon. Two strikes apiece, 13 spares for Brandon to 11 for Peter, and eight tens for Peter to just five for Brandon. I'm surprised that it's... Only 50% head pin for Pete and a little lower for Brandon. But I guess that's what it is. Yeah, I think in general, that one should be over the line. Yep, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. Dan Esdale coming to check the wood. Leave it a 1-8. There'll be no usable wood. Micah coming out of the camera position to uh, get that dead wood. It's been a good match so far. Pretty lively. Like, like he said, it's uh, 379 for Brandon against 361 for Pete. They're both over 120 averages. That's a good A-class a match, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All righty. Oh, always tough when you got like the one eight or the one nine. Oh, hit the yeah. head pin good, but send it off to the yeah, left. Yeah, you just got to hit it just perfect. Kind of heavy, but oh. slightly to the Sorry left. Sorry about that. There we go. Fendo gets a nine. No, Maybe that's PJ. Yeah. I get three mistakes a match, just used one. So. <laughs> <laughs> My union is good and strong, you know. So. Dude, if you know how many times I mess up graphics or anything like that. <sighs> like I told Rick Santucci, we're, we're going to make mistakes. Missile. Just make them, and that's it. Absolutely. Okay, great pocket hit. Nine drop with a plank. 
Wood to should be a guide if he d hits it on the left yes. side. That other Wood. Just get around the others. Ooh, yeah, he got close. around it. The only thing that would have hurt him is he would have hit the Wood on the right side on the right, but he hit it right. I'm telling you, Beaut he gives me a run for the unhappy spare look. Yeah. He does. 19 in the ball for Pete. Just off the hand pin. Wash out. AKA the chop zone. Four horsemen with the 4 7. 23 through 2 for Pete. He's been struggling a little on his uh, spare fills recently. Uh, yanked that way left. <laughs> Got four out of it. Wow. Was that basically the uh, the Nixon that he cleaned up? Yep, four, six, seven, ten. Paul Green, Paul Grant calls that the uh, banana split, but uh, nine, thirty-two for three. Up uh, four points to two, uh, Pete, but he's down eighteen pins for total to that big one forty first game for Brandon Martins. The pocket. Oh. Man, there's been so many nine drops that I thought would be strikes. The two okay. pieces of wood just touched heads and yeah. neither one of them hit the five. Wood looks pretty good. Played right through it, it. Right where he had to, right on the right side of it. Boom. 42 and a ball for Pete Chanton Jr. Once again, I'm Drew Steele. With Mike Imperato here, Ryan's Family Amusements in Millis. Class C Southern Conference. Two top averages, and they're showing it. Here's the fill. Just off the head pin, five. Didn't get an extra pin that time. Nope. One, three, six, seven, nine. Wash out with a piece of wood in there near the nine. Pete just oh wow way off to the right. That was probably for a two ball combination, probably maybe his worst box in the match so far. But he still gets eight out of it. Missed the object all three there. Fifty five half, good half, right on his average of one ten point nine. You know, he had that big six six thirty five series a couple weeks ago. Fifth high single, 153. Second in strikes with 45. That's a very important stat. Plus, he's <laughs> tied in perfect boxes, Micah, at That's 50%. The That's the first. Good stat. Yeah. Clean plate club. Yeah. Well, it's very important. Brandon just off. Chop zone takes out the 248. That's one thing I'd like to be better at. There's a lot of boxes that I'd leave pins on the deck, and I wish I didn't. But you're like the stat king for Class B, if you've looked <laughs> at it. it. Takes me like two minutes to read all your stats when I do a match with you. It's fun. High series, high average, high single. Justin Waters-like, almost. High hairline? Yeah. That too, <laughs> but you're you're in your fifties, man. I'm glad I got still some hair. I got my little ball spot, but it happens, you know. Eight box for Brandon. Here we go. Second box. Two marks in the, in the half he's facing from Pete. Fendo off the head pin. Ugh. He's been getting some rough leads. See if last this head pin stays boxes. up for him. This is uh that would have been the One, third time. Yeah. That cap, though, could neutralize yep. some stuff. Yep, that's tricky. One seven nine might also help him. Could, yeah, it could. It uh, did. I think he wanted. I think he might have wanted a little more of that cap, so that he could have pushed the head pin yeah, to the, the seven. Maybe the a little more the to the left, but it's just width of a razor blade to those type of shots. Nine box. He trails by six in the game, still leading by twelve in the match. Hey, Scott, thanks for checking in down there from Rally. Yeah, Scott Hodgson, he's been on a lot of these broadcasts. We appreciate you. Uh, he was telling me they got string duck pins down in Charlotte, but that's the only other non-10 pin they got. In the pocket. Oh, there Goodbye. It is. Yes. K 
Terry Ian going bonkers back there on the TikTok. Cheering on Brandon there. It was a beautiful strike. 27 and 2. Let's bring in some artwork. There we go. We haven't had a double yet, Micah. We've been close. Let's see if we can get one. Oh, if he only touched the head pin. Oh. Those it's never nice feel good. nine, though, Those with a guide good. wood. Getting that. Like, Pete's been doing those really good mixing balls off the head pin, and now finally Brandon got one. Oh, my goodness. Just a pinch right. Did not go. Well, Nine in the strike. You just got to leave that behind, yep. pick up the pin, and start up again. Yep. Deep breath and regroup moment, as I call it. Well, okay, that officially 45. gets him an invite to the missing head pins. Yeah. We're yeah, always recruiting. Sub for you guys uh, sometimes, <laughs> I guess. Okay, he's down two right now through four. Up 16 for the match. We're here live. Rise Family Amusements and Millis. ACST. It's Class C. Bowling like Class A guys today. Okay, leaving one, two, eight, nine. Rare leave. That's about a 20 to 1 shot to make with no wood. I actually really like this one. Thank you, Scott. We're glad you, you're you enjoying it. Come on. He's going to get on, it. Come on. Touch it. Oh. Did everything but make it. Helicoptered the pin. Uh, could be a tie. It will be a tie if he makes this for the game. Well, at the half. The half. That's the, Which yep. is the game so you, you far. you got to shoot right at it. Yeah. No 54. Love. Pete Jantin will be up one heading into the second half. 55, 54, anybody's game, anybody's match. So any streamers out here? Uh, Brandon would like some streamers for his, he's got two more matches to do today. If you can make it down here, you can stream, you can announce. Slice Dice, Julienne. Who knows, maybe uh, they may cover all three on TikTok. We'll have to see. Here we go. Going for the Cleary. Ooh. Yanked it way left there. Yeah, I'd love to stream the other two, but, you know, I, my hall pass comes to a quick end today because i got to get myself ready to go to Hawaii. Yes, enjoy that Hawaii. I oh, go no. down in Naples, Florida from the 9th to the 17th. I come back just in time for the start of the playoffs. I'll be all rested and full of vitamin C. <laughs> Ready to rock, baby. You know me. Six, six box, though, for Pete. 61 for six. Pete, just stop that pin again. Not getting the extra pins now. Getting the, a washout. The spin of his ball does a really good job of pulling the pins back off the wall. You know, that late trip there of the four. Yeah, he does that. Oh, he's just a little off his target. Last four. Three, four boxes. He's been missing objects. Going for a 10. And gets the two. Don't blame him. It's close match. Get the sure pins. Nine box repeat. 70 for seven. Chris Hebert says go, Brandon Martins. All right. Grand Martins with the fans. He's doing a little mini interview right now on TikTok, I think. Saying hello. Off the head pin. Kaliri left. Four horsemen, one, three, six, ten with the eight. You know, Bob Kaliri used to bowl in this house in the, the Fico's Bowl Dome in Franklin. Oh. oh, we only got three out of that. I thought he was going to make it. it. Looked like he was going to hit off the sidewall nice, but did not go. I say it all the time. It feels like the lanes here in Millis tighten up after a couple of strings. Great cover for the 10. That was a great cover for the 10. Good job. Every pin counts. He just won the last game by four. The game before that by one. So pinning is huge. But two boxes to go here. Needs to mark to force Brandon to mark in his half. That's a ball. In the pocket. Here we go. Open up the kaboom box. Pete. 
Stanton right in time. Did it in the tenth box in the first. Very clutch, very clutch right there. 90 and two balls. Yeah, I will, Chris, as soon as he gets done. Uh, it's off. Wash out. One, two, four, ten. Wood near the ten, though, could really help convert this. Big, big shot here. Biggest shot of the match so far. And he just misses it. Eight in the strike. 98 through nine. This will be his lowest game so far in the match. And a 106. 106 for Pete Chanton Jr. Brandon will need 52 to tie, 53 to win, basically one mark with a nice fill. And then good pinning, of course. Yep, got to have that pinning. You know, Brandon is uh, seventh in perfect box at 46, so he does that pretty well. I think he's in the division with uh, Ashley Britton, and I don't know the other two bowlers, but... Uh, We're talking about Brandon? Yes. All right, one sec. Here in the C. <laughs> I'll look backwards briefly. That's all right. In the pocket! Oh. Nine drop, okay. Got a flat piece of wood in front. Trying to do both things Brandon here at once. Brandon usually is around 40, 41 miles an hour. One of the fastest throwers in the sea. Him and Michael Smith for Brazil, too. Big spare there for Fendo. 64 and a ball. He's got a go, three Drew. pin lead and a ball. He's in the division with Ashley Britton, Ryan Prius, and Mike Smith. Michael Smith, a.k.a. Smith Bowling. Man was a professional baseball pitcher. Made the big leagues, folks. In the pocket, five, six, seven. Eight, or is it nine? Nine. It's now nine. Took it out, leaving a two pin. Beautiful mixing ball there. Really boosts his lead in this game. Just misses. All right, you got to leave that to the, leave it to the side. Pick yep. up the next ball. Get this pin. Everyone's going to matter here on out. Yeah, everything counts right now. And Oof. nine box. 82 through 7, 12 pin lead in the game, 30 pin lead in the match for Brandon Martins. We have 18 viewers. Thank you here. We'll land it can up in the single tour Facebook. Rock and roll. And I'm enjoying myself here. Early day shootout. Mix, 7 8. Okay, 2 in the 4, no wood. Been on the head pin. The entirety of the second half. Let's see if he can keep that up. Yeah, he's he's been looking real good right now. And he makes it. Right splits those two bad boys. Gets 92 and a ball. Oh man, this match is living up to everything I thought it could be. In the pocket again, five, six. Leaves the big four, or as Paul Grant says, the banana split. Uh, wood in front of the four, seven. Oh, gives it a run, but it just, just went behind the six. Okay. Got the six, ten up for his ten box. Well, he has the string with one pin. Yes. Uh, I was going to get to that. I try not to do it when the bowler's throwing the third ball. Oh, no, I said it once he'd thrown it. <laughs> I know. I know you did. Okay, Fendo, big 10th box. And in the pocket again, wow. but no. A little frustrated there. Three, four, six, but that wood near the four could help. He could slide it over. On the positive side, he five just took, five on the head pin. He just took the fourth game. It's four, four. 
And he has the lead for total. A pretty decent one at that. Could be up to uh, 28 if he makes both. I like and it. And he makes both. Slicing. He wasn't expecting it, but it went. Ten pin win in the game. It's four. Four. But Brandon is up 28, so Pete's really got to get pedal to the metal and put some nitrous oxide in that engine immediately. Yeah, Brandon is, he, he does some great bowling. Rising star in this game. Mixed worlds teams, he might, might be a decent addition. He's not on a mixed world team right now. So guys, I'm just saying, check mark for Pete. Oh, chops high. it. Takes the two five off the deck, I mean three five. In the 610. I do that juxtapose doing? thing. Good mark. And a nine. Oh, wow, double chop. Ugh. Nine box for Pete. How you doing now? Ryan Drago's watching. Hey, you doing, kid? Winner of the King of the Hill recently up at uh, Putnam Street. We'll be back there for Saturday in April. Yeah. Oh, half Worcester for Pete. I'm not asking you to feel bad. He's got Al Blanche. a little Al off Blanche these last two here. games. He's just got to really find that pocket again. Oh, great bid. Left a 5-6. Feel like I'm back at uh, Mohegan Bowl <coughs> watching Micah Pohl leaving 4-5, 5-6, 9-10 nonstop. That's a nine box. 18 for two for Pete. I do remember earlier in this match, Mr. Steele was convinced that these lanes don't throw a lot of splits and tough breaks, but after a couple of strings, they definitely tighten right up. Yeah, they, they have tightened a little, but they're still falling nice. Oh, yeah. A lot less strikes than I would have expected with some of the pocket hits these guys have had, but stuff yep, happens. Just three strikes apiece so far. I would have expected about six. I think there's been that many quality hits, but here we go. Just pulls it. Okay, Pete's really got the deep breath regroup right now. He's got to get to 10. He's got two big boxes coming up. He's trailing by a pretty good margin right now. Got to get marking. Okay, 28 through 3. Open through 3. <laughs> two big boxes. Fendo's here petitioning to bowl on the lanes outside in the parking lot. <laughs> it's all fun. It's all fun in games until somebody has some sand blow in their face. Yeah. Oh, chop suey cold and stale. What's like the uh, What's the bowling alley there? What is it? Portsmouth. The one that's yeah, on the Portsmouth on the beach. Yeah. That's lightning fast. Oh man! Now Pete's making some good shots. The multi pinners. Early they went, and they're not going now, unfortunately, but still throwing quality bids at them. It'll be a nine. Oh, ten he tripped it back. Gotta love those sidewalls and millets. I'm not doing a highlight on that. It's not a mark, but it was a hell of a 10. It was a hell of a 10. 38 through four. This right now, biggest box to match for Pete. Needs a mark here. Just put a little pressure on uh, Brandon. There you and go. He does so. Stop. Every time, 48 and two for Pete Chanton Jr. Finally got just reward for a nice ball there. Okay, down to eight viewers. Okay, guys. Thank you all for viewing here. Atlanta can up in singles tour. Believe it or not, this isn't class A, this is class C. You're getting some class A quality bowling today with uh, Brandon leading the way at five. What is it? 48. Uh, He's at 495. 485. Up. Oh, make that 505. Turn up the kaboom box, Brandon Martins. Two strikes in a row, but unfortunately not by the same bowler. Nope. But we'll see if that, that could happen. We saw three in a row by a certain guy named Imperato, was it? I yeah. think I did. Yeah. That was awesome. That was fun to watch. 
Here goes Brandon over two. Oh, in the chop zone. Two, four, eight, but he's got another ball for his fill. See the, uh, the sweep dangling down just a bit. That, that, that happens here sometimes in certain lanes. Oh, oh, no. Three on the strike. Okay. Just got to regroup. You're in the lead. You're in the lead for a total. Just get a good out box. Get you go for them box. all, all the time. Sometimes it's going to burn you like that. Yeah. It's all right. Shake it off. Get an out. Little drop. Take a all six. right. Six box. 19 through two. Up one in the game, though. Up one in the game, though, despite all that. Drago says, let's go Fendo. Fendo gets some fan support here. Okay, how about some fan support for Mr. Uh, Janton here? Had a lot more last time when I did one of his matches live. Fendo, just a lot, oh. right? Put maybe a little too much oh, hot I'm mustard sorry. on that. Let's, let's go I the swear anger to God, ball. I just a second. Do you need to charge? If you do. All right, here we go. Tap in here. Right in the – oh, man. Okay, this is what we call deep groove you can't, and regret you moment. Can't let the last ball mess up your next one. He's just yes, shake indeed. It yep, you always told me that, Micah, and you are correct. Okay, be six. 25 through three. As frustrating as it is, he's only trailing by three through completely. Uh, no, that's, that's his real name. I say both the names just in case, like his mom and grandma don't like the nick nickname or something, because you end up running into people everywhere. So I call them both Brandon and Fendo it's to please everybody, I guess. In the pocket, eight nine. Oh, go. I love the late sweep. This time he turned up and opened up the kaboom box. Two strikes. Looking to get a real good fill here. <laughs> Because uh, Pete's on a strike. I, I well, love the what the F look on his face as he came Yeah, away. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, bowling's crazy like that. Gets three, got one more ball. He's in his head. Not I not had a one box one time and bowled a 123. I had a strike, three, three box, bowled a 119. Anything can happen. Oh, what a bid for the spare, the multi pinner. It's eight this time in the strike. Still a good fill. It is. He will be in the lead for the game Well, as we go to the second half. And it's a nine. Pending a 52 fill. half despite a couple off boxes there. Rallied. And, uh, finished with 27 in the last two. Okay. Right now Pete is down 32. He's got two balls working. He's down four for the game. It's 4-4. Four, four. Dave Peterson, Glenn Gill watching. Thank you, guys. Seven, eight, nine. Another nine drop off the head pin, Micah. Yep. Not giving him the head pin for that. But I don't necessarily like this wood. I don't either. You got to be super duper low on it, I would think. He's high. Yeah, that's Mason. what I thought he wanted to do. That's why I got my... Beautiful 92 average this year. That, <laughs> I, I can't do footwork anymore, so I had to retire. But uh, we, we may try to relearn. 58 half. Oh, another oh. half Worcester on a mark for this kid. That's three or four half Worcesters last two games. He'd have been halfway to Worcester if it wasn't for that. Yeah, he's chilling around Westboro right now. It's a good second Leaves ball in that mess. Four, six, ten. Another nice multi-bid bid for Pete. And a nine box. 79 through seven for Pete. Three boxes left in this match. Each bowler with four points. Six more on the line here as we get towards the finish. Both needed. They're both in first in their divisions. They both got to keep steamrolling. Oh. In the nose, three and two. Two, three, four, six, seven, four, six, ten. 
A broken Ugh. eagle is going to make it tricky for him to hit 600. They here. call it the clip wing spread eagle also. Just misses. It's been a fun day. These bowlers are bowl real quick. This is going to be one of the quickest matches of the year. A lot of marks, a lot of high flying action. Oh. Uh, triple chop box. My most hated thing in the universe. 86 7 box there through 8. I'll take a chop over uh, a two bunny hole. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Double bunny. Okay, off the head pin. One, eight, ten, but nice woods in there. But I'm worried about the deflection for the ten, Mike. What do you, how do you say anything? Just blast the head pin with everything you got. Okay, that's what he's doing. And he got it. It did it. Gotta love it, Millis. Certain other houses, that would have been a no-go, but Millis got the sidewall. Oh. Might also happen quicker and easier because the pins don't slide as much. Oh, but got six out of it. 102 through nine. One, four, seven, nine, and another nice couple pieces of wood in there as he finishes his match. And he yanked me, cranked me, and still almost made it. Throws it in the ocean and gets three out of the four. But, okay, going for a 112 maximum here. That's got it. And he gets it. 112. 579 for Pete. Right now, Brandon's at 58.79.95. Brandon right now, 447. He needs 33 to win total. He needs 61 to take 10. Take the game and the total. Great match, though. 579 is nothing to sneeze at. It's good, really good bowling. He beat his average by like five pins anyway. P. Janton is going to give Fabrizio Smith everything he can handle tomorrow. And Fabrizio Smith's a great bowler. Three, four, five, maybe six. Okay. Got the four horsemen with a nice wood between the six ten. What the doctor ordered for Fendo. And he gets it right in there. 62 in a ball. Trails by eight in the game right now. So nine drop or higher. He's going to take the lead. Only one mark in the last four he's facing. What a match. That's a Fendo in the pocket. Four. Six, seven, eight. Oh. Breaks the split up. Good break there. Wood came across. Just barely ticks the six in the ten. Eight, Phil. They're dead tied through six. 70-70. Fendo buries it. Two in a row, 80 in a ball. He's up one in a ball, up 29 for the match. All right, something happening with the lane, the excuse. reset. The red light is on. I think the pit, yep. It's just going to reset itself. As I expected, we've seen a pretty great match between the two top average bowlers in this Class C. Um, my first time working with Brandon at this at the ACST since September, so it's it's good to see him again here. Five, six, seven. Okay, he's one total. Total's done. Eighty-seven through seven. But left a rough split here. Two, four, ten. Oh, how did that not go? He splits the two, four right in front where the six pin was. All right. Looking for a ten box. Wants to get this game. And he gets a ten. Needs 16 in his last two to take the game. 97 through eight.
which would give him two. He's gonna, he has two wins against the top two or three guys in his conference. So that's got to be a big confidence booster. All right. Four horsemen with the eight. Nice wood between the two four, though. Should take it all if he buries the one two. Which he does. Making me look like a genius. Brandon Fendo Martins kicking some butt, taking some names. Three on the first ball. He's got ten. Match will be over. Just needs a three. And he gets it. That's Take all he four. needed. Brandon Fender Martin's 10 4 win over Pete Jin. Pete bowled great, put up a good fight. Had a rough fourth game, and that really got turned the momentum. Oh. And he oh, makes the first pair. 21 in the ball. I'm trying to figure this out. 58, 79. Yeah, he's in the 600 zone, he like is, I sir. said. It was going to take a six on Doe to win it. He's got two more matches coming today. 616 plus what he does here. Streamers and or announcers needed. Fendo in the pocket with six. 127. That gives him a 622. Six twenty-two, Brandon Fender Martins. That's going to move him up in the high series for the C class. Great job bowling today. <laughs> He's got ten more games to go, so Brandon needs to drink his Gatorade, Powerade, whatever you know, his rehydration he enjoys. And it was a great match, Micah. Very high scoring, as we expected. Absolutely. I mean, if you look at the numbers right here on the screen, it's right. Pretty much neck and neck. Head pins 21 to 22. Splits were almost pretty even. Strikes 4 to 5. Spares 15 to 19. Tens yeah. 12 to 7. So all in all, pretty neck one and neck the, all the way through all of it. One of the differences, though, it was very close in game four. P kind of had a rough game there, only with a 106. And then the momentum kind of flipped. He was a little off the head pin during those sequences. Yep. But uh, Fendo just did not leave him any room, really, to things all right well if you're all set drew i'm going to kick up the replays yeah. let those stream yep. and you can keep I'm the just headset on quick you sign off right now all right i'm drew Steele with mr micro in prado rides family Musers and melis it's great classy action today thank you and good day enjoy <laughs>